Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major.
You're fucked. Bring it on. You stink. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human. you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? Y'all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more to it than that.
fuck did you even come from? Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots.
Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be a guard, especially at a hospital. Listen, we're not butchers like those scientists. We're not here to kill people. We just make sure no one runs off. It's fine, really. Saharov didn't die, comrade. Saharov lives. What? Who are you? What are you talking about? I am an assistant professor from AOC. It matters not. Saharov lives. What do you mean, he lives? It was believed Saharov perished a few years ago in an unfortunate accident. That he did not. I studied the documents, and all of the most revolutionary papers show signs of his involvement. His personal touch, if you like. I worked with him personally and knew his attitude well. Caustic comments, radical methods, unmitigated interruptions. He is most definitely alive. But one question remains. If he is alive and still working, why would somebody hide it? Eh, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Right now it's hard to tell who's alive and who isn't. starts approximately 7 to 10 minutes after death, followed by defecation in 3 to 5 minutes. Rigor mortis sets in 5 to 6 hours, then, let me see, complete decomposition in about 5 years. Ugh, nasty. What? Why? Naked facts, pure numbers. What is nasty about science? What are you talking about? I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. So you will help me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. Give or take 535 to 650 days in current conditions. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Swap. 
focus. Keep an eye on that incision. Okay, okay. Focus. Shit, pressure on it, now! The polymer wasn't absorbed by the tissue again, so it created a pathological cavity. There are nodules like this all over his body. What do those heartless animals want from people, huh? You may be right, comrades. But that is not your concern. Do your jobs. Private, bring in the next one. Yes, Comrade Colonel. The polymer needs to be absorbed. And if it's not, save whoever you can. And clean this place up. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov Complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, non Chalomet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, new life support systems, all came from here. Indeed, Comrade Major. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Saving data. Access granted.
Access granted.
rip your heart out. Academy to escape the experiments. I'm a doctor. I was the one doing the experiments. How dare they experiment on me? It never ends. No, I don't want it. Everywhere. No one wants it. Nothing but death. It can't happen. The can't happen. It can't. I'd rather be nowhere. I'm never getting out of here. I don't want to become nothing. The polymers aren't what you think. They're not for what you think is right. Collective doesn't exist. The thing that exists isn't collective. What the? No, get out of here! You stupid doll! I don't want you to put that poison in me!
Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. If there were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack, they could take the American military by surprise. Just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war. And now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. Get off. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. You're a robot, Charles. You should know all about that. I'm a robot? In a sense, I suppose it's right. A robot in love. What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from Collective? It depends on the glove. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective. And whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective. But a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of the hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots. So they'll only listen to them. Correct. <clears throat>
complaint. Listen, I am filing a complaint. About what? About your Stockhausen's disgusting behavior. I was injured, but could have been saved. I was bleeding out and begged him for help. But that stock of yours, and I know you're calling him that ironically, just passed me by. He asked one of these robot ballerinas to step in my throat so that I'd stop making noise. And I died. <sighs> Stock really is a piece of shit, isn't he? Precisely. Precisely, my dear fellow. I ask you to bring this matter to light. Please air the issue with your superiors. It's just shameful. I'm not asking for myself. It's too late for me. But it is the matter of the facility's reputation. He is the assistant to the chief administrator, after all. I can deal with that. Fading data. Please select the desired procedure. You're gone, Professor. What have you done? I was supposed to learn from you, but all I ever got...